it should not take an hour and a half to download six gigs of of an update but it did but look hey this sword it's glowing that is cool this is one of the new things that they have added with the 355 update is the little glow sword and it's a satellite dish on top of our tents i wish that was my starlink because maybe i would have had faster internet but anyways that is another new feature that they have added all the little tents have the little satellite dishes which it's the little things that make me happy. All right, so let's go back here. Hey, what's going on, Amo? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for uh, waiting for the long wait start time. <laughs> Apologize for that. I can get into my... So I want to head back over, check out some new things up in the is this my black hat armor it is hey what's going on neil how you doing hope you're doing well where is where where's all my backpack stuff i don't think i lost it all um hang on I have completely lost everything in my back. Let me see if that backpack up there is. Because if not, this is going to. This is going to suck if I lost everything in my backpack. I like that. I like that glow. That glow of the sword. I wonder if they. They got the swinging right, the swinging animation. Yeah, they did fix the swinging animation, so it's no longer slapping. Ah, there it is. So I, I guess I did lose it, and I really didn't want my black ant armor. I wanted my roly-poly armor, which is right here. All right. So I don't remember... I don't remember when I lost my backpack. I've actually have been playing a couple of different saves on here, so. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. To me, I'm liking the little, the, the sword glow. <laughs> I think that is a cool effect. It's nothing, it's nothing big or fancy, but I like it. I think it's cool. Let me just get some things set up so I could head back up there. Oh, look at that. That is a new feature as well. Uh, the check marks on top of the, the spinning wheels and the grinders. That right there, that check mark tells you that whatever, whatever item you have that's in there, it's ready to be um, harvested. And they have a new option. If you look down, take all. So instead of going in, and needing to go take all of the the items out of it. You just hit the take all key and it will automatically dump everything out. Now you still have to go back in to um, craft the items. But you can take all. And let's see. And I'll go ahead. And do this. And it's also over here on the grinders that you can do that as well. Oop. So you can take all from the outside or when you go inside. They have the take all feature as well. I don't know if that was in there before. No, that was not in there before because I think you had to collect each piece individually. So that is definitely a... That is definitely a nice feature right there of taking all. And putting that back in. I do like, I, I definitely like the hot deposits and the take all features now. Um, Where is all my, that fuzz on the rocks too? Why did I make so many fuzz on the rocks? What is this? Rage. As you can see it's been, I, 
This this whole save just seems like a, a completely different game. I don't remember doing all this for some reason. I got ant parts. Go put my. I have another armored dummy ready to go. I thought I made one. Oh, I was in the process of making one. Okay. Put that there. Um, weapons I need to take with me. I think I got all the ones that I need. I got ones more than enough that I need. I wanted to make some more bombs, but apparently... Let me check something. Apparently I did not make... Worker's comp, what is this? Sticky worker's comp. I've just got a hodgepodge of everything all over the place <laughs> in my, uh, in my, um, chest. I wanted to get in and organize all this sooner. But again, the, the game would not have, the game did not let me do that because it wanted to update. And it took my, it took me too long to update. Work like glob, spicy. That's uh, okay, Amo. It's, it's all good. Thanks for uh. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for sticking with it for the first uh, 45 minutes of me trying to get into the game, so. Need some more arrows, too. Again, I was hoping to have this already preset and ready to go. So definitely apologize for the long wait. Go ahead and sleep. Feeling a little low energy. Oh. <sighs> Need to recharge. Grab my food. Oops. Still got my canteen in my hand. Key to performance. All right. So let's see. I think I think I have the things I need to go back up into the new area. Technically don't need to carry that one anymore. So I'll go ahead and put that back in. Here. Yep, definitely I'm definitely liking the options because it's even on the ovens that you have the check mark to take all and let you know that they're done. So that is that is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I hot deposited everything I needed to. That's my glider, so I need to pick up a uh, dandelion tuft as well before I head out. Hang on. Checking to see what. Uh, five, and I think I only have one. Yep. Drop that in there. All right, we're gonna go head off to the new zone. Check out what they have done up there. I know they also have added a new wood spider up there. Or not, not a wood spider, uh, a new infected spider has been added to that zone as well. So we're gonna go ahead and check him out. A 
probably should. Have my antline sword ready to go. Where am I? second I think we're gonna run around with this sword just because it glows I'd like to see them make um armor out of the the uh the infected fungus, the glow, the glowy fungus. I would like to have armor that glowed that color, or even a weapon that would glow that uh, infected fungus glow. I think that would be pretty cool. Big old science club. So they, I know they have changed this area right here. So you no longer can get up off that rock. And the wolf spider's den is right down in here. And they do have a bunch of quartzite down there as well. So did I bring my hammer with me? Okay. Let me get this quartzite real quick. else in here all right so the new way to get up is through here there is a did they add that tooth back there no okay i already got the tooth so if you come back here and just parkour up you're able to do it and then this right here so this is the upper yard ascent this is the new way to get up and you can get up there without um destroying this this rock right here but if you destroy the rock, it is better. Or easier. I guess. <laughs> we'll find out if it's easier. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, it comes around to this leaf. When I first looked at it, I'm like, uh, I don't see how it's easier. You do have to jump <laughs> to get it. <laughs> okay, that was that was more challenging than I expected. Let me get rid of this person right here. And let's see, so guess I should have repaired some of my items before I came up here as well. Eh, it is what it is. Where'd my crossbow go? There it is. That is, yep. Shooting everything but him. Probably should have put on my... Hang on, let me change my statuses here. Oh, did he hit me up here? How did he do that?
He got up here. Quit playing around with him. Go ahead and just go with the... the Excalibur of all weapons in this game as of right now. wonder if they're going to fix that. Let's see. So, you need... Let me get rid of... What is this? Beefy, okay, so. Oh, I forgot my, um, I always forget to bring my, I need to actually make another set of antlion armor so I can get through the hay zone. The hay zone. What am I talking about? The, uh, the, uh, the charcoal zone. <laughs> to me, this always, every time I come up to this right here, this looks like another way of getting up onto this rock area. I don't know if they're going to change this or not. Probably should just build, um, stairs to get up there. Instead of running around through this area all the time. Where does this stick go? You know, if I can work my way up. Using the grass? No, I don't see a way up using the grass either. Of course I fell. Let me go ahead and put my spicy... Sizzle pick. Yep, put that on. Like fighting those two guys as of yet, even though there is a gold tooth and science points up there. Get that backpack that's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> I think I lost that about a week ago and I've never gone back to get it. that over there oh it's another another pipe so many broken pipes in this backyard I wonder if that goes that leads anywhere let's see if it goes this direction straight across 
Seems like it would have an opening. Then again, it might not. Eh, nothing's over here. Hey, what's going on, Zoom? How you doing? Hope you've been well. Just checking out what the uh, what the latest updates look like. If you have not seen it, that the uh, the sword right here, especially at night, looks extremely cool. It has that red. It actually has a red glow on it, so that's one of the updates that they have have made. The um, Sam Squanch dirt bike. They said they've done some some things up here as well. I'm trying to see what they have done. Oh, you know, I don't know where my spawn point is at. I should have made one up here somewhere. The uh if you didn't see earlier, the um the spinning wheel, the ovens, and the grinder all have check mark icons above. So when things are finished on those, you can, uh, there's, there's a big old check mark right there to see it. That's a nice option right there. And you can, you can just take everything from, you don't even have to go into them anymore. You can just take everything from the outside. I hate fighting ants. I can never judge their attacks. me oh that's not crap thought I had my sword in my hand still this is this is something right here I wish they would they would update the uh being able to hot swap over your uh, mutations. It would be so much, so much easier if they did it. I can't. I can never hit these little bugs. I don't know why I can't ever hit them, but I can't hit the little bugs to save my life.
Where does ant come from? Yeah, because with the uh, when you're when you're when you get in a combat, if it's unexpected combat, it, it's almost like too late to swap over. You know what? I think I forgot my dandelion tuft. I drop in here to see what's going on down here. Eh, nothing's a, nothing has really changed down in this area. See if I can find a little beetle. Ah. Might get a dandelion tough when I need it. Next time I go out, I need to cut down something. I have not seen. The infected wolf spider as of yet. I know that's another another thing that they said is gonna be up here is the infected wolf spider. But uh have not seen him make an appearance. Yeah, I haven't seen the infection up here either, though. So, not sure where that spot is at. There are weeds up here. I need a weed. You dandelion tough. There's my backpack. Whoa. Oh, a couple of hell bosses. All right. That was a bonus. What would be cool to add to the game? I mean, I don't want I don't want anything like crazy for the the hot swapping of mutations. Just give me give me two options. Give me a uh, two options for something to load in. Oh, there's an infected uh there is an infected Larva right there, so I am guess guessing there's another infected larva, so I am guessing the wolf spider is up here somewhere. Hang on, let me go ahead and for that that guy can get up here. When did they start adding these guys to be able to climb over rocks? Oh, I thought I was safe. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> oh, he jumped? That guy jumped across the rocks. That was unexpected. I didn't... I didn't... I guess that would fall under being under unexpected, but I, I did not expect him to jump like that. I have food. Ew. I got a bunch of useless stuff. Oh, do I, yeah, I can make, um, let me make a quick. Heal myself real quick. With these almost, almost pointless bandages now. I know the spider is up here. Wait. 
Um, what I do with my? There it is. That tastes really good. Like dust buzz, fungal growth. Gotta drop something. I don't like having my backpack overloaded with stuff and things. Hey, what's going on, Wes? How you doing? Happy Thursday. I, I, hey, Wes, check, check, check out this sword. Look at the glow. The glow, the glow makes me happy. I don't, I don't know why, but it makes me happy. Yeah, being that he's stuck. No sense in, uh... Hey, what's going on, the Grass... Grass Masters group? How you doing? Hope you're having a good, uh... Good Thursday, or... Maybe Friday, depending on where you are located. Well, I don't get stuck up here. Might get stuck up here. Hang on. I was guessing that the uh, infected larva would, or not the infected larva, the the um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The uh, the infected wolf spider would have been over here, being that the infected larva were over here. But I actually don't see an inf the inf infection over here, so I guess we shall keep on moving. To see if it's somewhere else. Let me pull out my little light. <laughs> I love that. Hey, have I mentioned I love the glow of the sword now? And I don't think there's anything out here as of yet. Nothing as of yet. So what is a question for you guys watching? What is the favorite thing that they have have done with these new public test updates that they have added to the game? What is your, what's your favorite thing that they have done so far? Mine is the glow katana right now. <laughs> Especially when it's dark. During the day, not so much because you can't really see it, but... I think, uh, I think glow armor either from a firefly or, uh, from the, 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 the uh, the fungal growths. I think uh, the, that, that green glow that the, uh, infected bugs have, that would make cool armor. That, I, I, the resource scanner is, is a cool, is a cool um, is cool. They do definitely need to, to do some, uh, tweaks on it to update it. Cause I was playing around with it yesterday or the day before I actually have a video about it coming out tomorrow. Uh, I, it, it's, there's, there's some things on it that is kind of glitchy as of right now, but the whole concept of it is, is cool. I do like it. Um, where am I at? Still haven't found it. I'm looking for a dandelion tuft. Have I made the ox hammer yet? I thought I made it. I may have not. I could have swore I crafted that hammer the other day. No, I did not because I did not have the poopa leather. Or whatever. 
however it is pronounced. Somebody, somebody was saying that I was pronouncing it wrong, but wouldn't be the first time that I mispronounce lots of things. I like this. I like their new tier three axe. I think I like it because it kind of it does it kind of looks kind of reminds me of a, a Viking axe. But have I mentioned the katana has a glow to it? <laughs> it's very glowy. Okay, so I've been over here. Trying to remember what the other updates they did. Um, the hey, there's floating, floating stuff. the The infected wolf spider is he, it definitely has a very cool look to him, and he's got some. He's that guy's got some serious attacks on him. I like I like the he's he's a fast attacker and which sucks when you're trying to fight him but the the bomb attacks that he does the explosive attacks are kind of cool. Yep, the armor dummy repositioning. That's another. How does that have a a glow under it? That's that's a cool option. Um, they've done a lot of the the uh, the bounce webs, the bounce the bounce webs with being able to angle them. I could I could definitely see where there's going to be a lot of cool things added with the bounce webs. I hate... I can't switch over my weapons. My inventory's full. That's something I kind of wish they would. I mean, I get it, but it makes it hard when you when you're trying to fight and you want to change over your weapon with full inventory. You can't do it. What can I get rid of? What can I get rid of that I don't need? I need everything in my I need everything in my inventory pouch, but there's a couple things that I guess. I can afford to get rid of. Now I'm back to a full inventory. Once again, I guess I could drop these guys off. Do 
do I have? <sighs> Problem is, is I'm carrying too many weapons now. They did add, they said they added a new splinter item into the game. So I'll have to go research my... See, I want armor that glows like that. I want an armor and I want weapons that glow like that down there, those things. That would be cool. I lose those wood pieces? I did. I went all the way down there. Uh, let's see. That was a bad jump. Oh, that was a horrible jump. I was too busy looking at what was above me. <laughs> Goes back to, I should have got there's some, uh, there's one I, way over there, crap, figures. Because these ones don't drop the, the dandelion tufts. Not that I can remember. It makes more. Yeah, no. I knew they didn't. Need that one over there. They definitely have made this new area very trenchy. Lately, somebody, somebody over at the dev team likes trenches. Between the uh, the hot and hazy update with the haze zone being all trenchy. And this area is full of trench. What is going on with that dandelion tuft? Um, so I have to drop that, pick that up, put that here. Again, I'm carrying too much stuff. I wanted, I should just drop this quartzite right here so I can pick some other things up. Because I need to make bandages. I need to bandage up. Hang on one second. I made some uh, some honey tea because I've I've heard that helps helps when you are speaking a lot during a live stream. So testing that, gonna be testing that theory out. <sighs> All right, what don't I need? What don't I need? Bandages. And then use some bandages. Wait a minute, didn't I craft? Oh, they all fell on the ground. Alright, we need we need a bigger inventory. We need to be able to uh we need to be able to expand our backpacks. Because now I can't switch. Now I can't switch parts over. Right, if I get a couple more fibers, I'll be able to
How many? Two more. One more. Need our fiber. That should take up, clear up a couple of slots. Yep. Until I pick this up. All right. Try this again. And then the, uh, then the squirrel on me sees things that I must, must get. And then my inventory. No, okay, it's not full. So there we go. Do I hear? I hear a re. I hear a research point. I hear it up above me. Wonder if they're going to make these things uh, show up better when you cut them down. Because when you cut those down, you don't see them. They blend in right with the ground. Um, is there no way to get over there? I guess you got to go up and drop down. Probably should have brought food with me. Alright, so where is that? I haven't done anything in here as of yet. Not that I can see. Hey, what's going on, Manga? How you doing? I'm doing I'm doing good. How how are you doing? How is your uh How's your day been going for you? I think I got a respawn point up here. I do. We don't have a research lab up here, do we? As of yet. Nope. Would be nice if they put a research lab up here. Alright, where's that hole in the wood? Is it... It's over there. It is. It is. Hang on. How do we do this again? Not that. Not that. There. I think I've got to work my way up higher. That's all right. I was, uh, <laughs> I was late to start the stream for about 45 minutes because uh, I didn't mean to do a jump like that because of my uh my internet connection was so bad that it took me an hour and a half to download six gigs of of the update that tastes really good
Are those guys stuck up there? That one isn't. The other ones are. I have no food. I need food. It's gonna affect my non-combat abilities that I don't have going on here. Ouch. my food depleting so quickly and I absolutely have nothing to eat well this sucks um oh crap where's all the mushrooms at Well, at least they gave us a bunch of mushrooms around here to eat. Can I get... Uh... There's nothing I want to get rid of. That's the whole problem. And again, carrying too too much stuff. All right, let's try this like the fourth or fifth time. Hang on, what, uh, hang on, Hods Rod Pure, you, ow, figures. One second, let me get rid of that. So I, right now, I am in currently in southern Arizona, and we live out in the middle of an area where there is no hard cables for, for internet connection. So everybody over here has to rely on either uh, the um, satellite internet, not, not, not Starlink, but the other ones, or the wireless uh, broadband connections. And, uh, 
the wireless broadband over here is is just horrible it is it is they pay a lot for it and the the speeds of it is just slow i can't believe i can't believe the price people pay for the internet i mean you know you know it's bad when a company compares their internet to dial up they're like oh our our internet is a hundred times faster than dial up i'm like um dial up has been gone for a long time <laughs> and you're comparing your internet to dial up I, I, I do have, um, I do have, hang on, I can't, for some reason I can't speak, oh, that hurt. Wait a minute, why am I punching? Where is my... There it is. I saying oh so uh so I do have um I had I've had Starlink on order for over a year now and they pushed my my date back till the middle of this summer so hopefully uh hopefully I'll have that sooner than later I don't think I have my um my barbarian thing turned on. They are destroying my armor. That, there goes my shield. Did they throw my shield fall on the ground? So I lost my armor, and I also lost... Holy crap, they... Totally tore up my armor. Of course. Um, let's see, what can I drop? <laughs> I guess I'll drop that. Pick my shield up. I'll have to go all the way back to my base to fix my stuff. And get rid of a lot of my stuff, because, uh... My shield destroyed, too? It is destroyed. Mm, can't 
So, so when I do any video uploads, I actually have to, I actually have to schedule a time during the day when I do a video upload, um, to make sure that there is like no one's watching TV because we, we stream TV here. So I have to, I have to make sure no one's watching TV. I have to make sure no one else is on the internet. And when I start uploading, the uploads take down the internet for everybody else in the house until the upload is finished. A lot of times what I have to do is I have to end up switching over to my phone's hotspot in order to, um, to do an upload so I don't take down the internet for everybody else. It is, it is very, it's very frustrating. <laughs> and if I have like, so any, any video that I do over 10 minutes will take over 30 minutes to upload. And, uh, again, I, I have to turn on my hotspot. In order to, uh, in order not to take down the internet for everybody else. The, we, I think, I think the service, the service that they're using here, boast, they, now they boast that they, they're 14 megabits down to megabytes up. I'm like, that's, that's horrible. Why are you guys like bragging about those those speeds right there or a lack thereof I need to make a base out here on one of my other saves I do have a base going up over here by that light This way I don't have to constantly run all the way back over there and then back over here. There's a research station over here though. <laughs> One Yes, <laughs> trust me, I know. And at night, even though we're out in the middle of nowhere at night, the internet connection just gets very bad as well. Like it, um, it, it becomes very, very hit or miss on how well the internet works at night over here. Which is funny because I guess, well, I guess it's not funny, but it's funny because I guess it's a shared connection between all the houses out here, even though it's it's a wireless a wireless transmission. All right, so what are the what are the the main weapons to use up in the main zone, the new zone? I know the spicy sword does or is it spicy sword? Yeah. I know the spicy sword does not do really much or any damage. Well, it does very little damage against the the new uh uh ladybird larvas. But what are the other what are the key weapons to take over there so I don't have so I don't have the hodgepodge of 300 weapons and no uh, backpack space
Oh yeah, and if you're just joining, there is the new uh, there is the new satellite antennas that they put on all the tents for the resource analyzer. And I'll go ahead once oops, once I get in here, I will show you what the completed icon looks like for the, the spinning wheels and the same happens for both the oven and the grinders. Wow, I don't have enough points to repair my armor. Not points, but stuff. I thought I had more roly poly stuff laying around. Apparently, I did not. Well, that just sucks. All right, so. What did I all. What is that? Went? I guess this will go over here. Uh, splinters will go. I guess I'll put the splinters here. Yeah, and that's the problem with uh, that's the problem is is being that I've gone up there a few times. I want to take. It's like you got to take a hodgepodge of all the weapons. Hydration is the key to performance. Because of the different the different uh bugs that are all up in there. Three Three for one rope. Why is it three for one and spider silk is only one for one? That sucks. I don't like that. Gotta repair my shield. At least I got enough ant parts to repair my shield. Uh, spicy glob. Two, two. I know they lowered their uh, requirements for all these, but still. Three, three spicy shards just to repair this sword. And it's only what is what level is this? Level five. It's only level five. Ouch, that hurts. Um, alright, so I need to go with a different armor. Is this Then I need to fill up. My aim is my aim is horrible. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Peter Piper? How you doing? Hope you are having a good Thursday. I should make some actual food food. That's not food. That is critical hit chant. I'm gonna make make a couple of these. It takes so long to seems like these things take longer to make and they they spoil quicker. 
They, they spoil fat. What am I trying to say? They spoil faster than they take to make. I have not done a uh, a multiplayer live stream as of yet. That is that is in the works. Just trying to let them kind of figure out if um because I, I know it's doing the multiplayer games on this is sketchy sometimes games work just fine and other times they are uh lag fest so so where is a good place to build a base uh let's see depending on um so there, there's a lot of decent locations like right here for this for this one I've built my base right here which was prior to uh the the new into the wood zone but I've built this one here because it is in the most it was with the the old hot and hazy update this was in the most centralized location now that they have this zone up here Maybe on either up on this stone wall right here. What is that? Up on this stone wall right here, maybe, or down on this rock. It depends on where you are at in the game as well. So you're you're new to the game with one week. Um, to to be, I I do like I did uh, for the longest time. I had a lot of bases that I built right by the oak tree. And like you said, um, so over here is, this is the oak tree. Here is the pond. And there's that rock ledge right here. I I used to build bases all along, like up up in this area right here, because it was pretty, pretty close to getting into the, uh, the oak tree, which made it easy to turn in quest. It made it easy to get, uh, turn in your raw science and all that. Um, I also built them up. There's the uh, the little the stumps like you were talking about. The stumps right here. I used to build them on the stumps here and on the other side. But then but that was that was that was when it was pretty much just this area that was open, the pond, the pond, the hedge, and over here. But being that they have opened up so much more of the map, I try to go with a centralized location and uh now that they've added this portion, this base really is no longer a good location for me being at the point of the game that I'm in. So I, I am working on another save of putting it on these rocks right here, at least an outpost. But having having small bases, having like having a uh, the lean to a workbench, a fireplace and some storage. And key locations throughout the map is a great idea. Uh, being having like a nomad setup where you don't have one centralized base, but a bunch of little bases around is also a great idea. So you can actually go save, uh, make saves. You could cook. You can store things. You could craft things like that. Uh, though that's also a great idea of doing as well. I I I. When I first started playing, that's uh, when I first started playing. Uh, I never had a main base. Most of my bases, when I first started, were all remote outposts throughout the map. It wasn't until I think the um, the pond update where I decided that I need to start moving from just having a bunch of separate bases to having a main base, and that's when I started working on main bases. But then, then once they start updating and opening up zones, it 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 makes having a main base in one location not ideal for new locations that they opened up. Again, like this base right here is pretty much not good for me anymore, being that I'm doing a lot of stuff up in the shed area. That's a long run, as you can see. It's a uh, uh, 1,172 centimeters from when I ran. From one spot to another so yeah just just things to think about um 
as you are building, you, you're gonna you're gonna end up probably wanting to move uh, a new base location to another location as you advance throughout the game. So something something to think about when you do drop your bases down. What's going on, Ormond? What's going on, Ormondo? Hope you're doing well. Uh, you, you just woke up. Well, <laughs> that's all right. I hope you had a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i am actually I'm, I'm forgetting something i know i am i always do and that's another thing key thing about base location is if you forget items uh it's a long run back to get them like this <laughs> i know i'm forgetting something let me go ahead and that little guy. Oh, he jumped over my arrow. Third time's a charm, I guess. <laughs> How not to kill a uh, an aphid with a crossbow? Take three shots at it and miss. And also, also, uh, uh, Peter, once, once you start getting further into the game, uh, making, making, um, where am I going with this? Making duplicate items like arm, duplicate armor and stuff like that and having them at key locations is also a good idea. So that's, that's something to think about as well is, uh, once you start getting into it, start making start thinking about making like two sets of a certain type of armor so you could have a set at one base and then keep another set at another base this way if you're doing something at another base you don't have to run all the way back to get your other armor that you need it and also think about like the type of armor you want at your base so like if you're once you get into the sandbox and if you build a base in the sandbox Keep a set of uh, the antlion armor, which is this stuff over, like this stuff right here. Keep a set, an extra set over inside the sandbox. This way, if you go to the sandbox and you forget your antlion armor at your main base, you have another set over there. Just, just, uh, just some tidbits that that I've I've um, done enough times that, yeah, it, it definitely helps out when you do learn that. Things you wish you knew prior to prior to doing a lot of things in the game. <laughs> you got the the oven recipe. Yes, it is. It is definitely worth crafting the re uh, oven recipe. Um, but they have changed the location of the the charcoal now so it is over in the new zone and as a as a new player yeah it's still it's still okay to go over there you'll you're gonna need your tier two hammer to, to break up the coal uh but i think the only thing you really have to be careful of going over there there are there are uh two two wolf spiders that hang out in that area uh, but you also have to watch out for the ladybird larva, which they hit very hard. The problem with the the problem I have with the zip lines is, in order to travel quickly, you got to build an extremely tall tower. Because uh, the the zip line I have going from my light base to the bench. I, I didn't I didn't angle it right and it took it took like five minutes to get from the zip line to the bench. I'm like I'm I'm riding on the zip line thinking I could run faster than what the zip line is going right now. I could drop my regular hammer in there. I wish we had, I, I really wish we did have a different way of traveling besides running in the zip lines. Or something to make the zip lines 
faster. Being able to harvest, being able to harvest the little, uh, the little jet engines that the uh, the robots have, and um, make a zip line jet pack that that will actually push you up a zip line or down the zip line. That would be cool. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to make? Probably. Fiber bandages. How many fiber bandages? Eight. Nine. Ten. Go ahead and take that out. Can I make anything else while I'm over here? Alright, so what I'm gonna do. Which which uh I am sleepy. No joke. Which axe? So the I just I just made a hammer, and that hammer is the new black ox hammer, which is a tier three, and you have to uh you have to go up into the new zone to take out the black ox beetles, which Hit very hard, but I've never done hand-to-hand -hand combat with them. I've always got up on something and just shot my crossbow at them. I guess maybe that's the cheating way of doing it. Or is it? Or is it the smarter way? So I don't need this in my inventory. Get rid of this. I don't know. Do do we need our black ant shovel up in the new zone? Is there anything to dig up there? Yeah, another, another, yeah, definitely, definitely what Manga said was, uh, build your base up on top of something as well. Don't build it on the ground. Because if you build it on the ground, you're gonna constantly, like, that this base is really on the ground, and I'm constantly getting red ants in here. Not that they do any damage to the base, but they come in, and they kind of get annoying after a while. Um, let's see. So I think I am ready to go back over to mess around in the new zone again. Yeah, especially when the wolf when the wolf spiders are uh, out there patrolling, it, it lets you get up and away from them. That is, where is my, will they, um, will they let you build on that porch? I know some, some locations like that, they won't let you build on. There are dust mites. I have not been on the picnic table with the new update. I don't think there are dust mites on the picnic table. But I can run over there and check it out real quick. As I run away from... I heard a mosquito out here somewhere. Also, uh, also a key thing to know, um, as well with the, if, if you didn't see my video about the custom, cause they do have custom game settings now and, uh, to let you be able to like 
make the game style you want. Uh, two problems with that is once you create a custom game, kind of like these games, once you go in and you start the game, you cannot change any of the settings once, once, you, once you started it. So if you go in and create a custom game and say you don't want bugs to respawn or or something like that, you cannot go in and change those settings after they have been made. Just kind of like with these games, we can't go in and change the... Uh, we can't go change it from mild to um, to woe setting or, or something like that. Same goes with the custom settings. Also with the custom settings, you do not get... You're not able to get any achievements with the custom settings. So if you want to get the Xbox or Steam achievements, being that it is a custom game, they will not allow that. Yep, so like I'll, I'll, I'll show you right now. If I go in and right here is where my custom game settings are at, right down there. If I go into custom game settings, everything is grayed out and I cannot make any changes within the game. And it says right down here, it says these options cannot be changed in game. So I don't know if they're going to change this or not, but when you get out of the game, when you exit out of the game, there's, there's no way to make changes in the options outside of the game either. So once you, once you create the game, you're, you're pretty much, uh, you're pretty much stuck in what settings you've ever you, you've decided to uh, to do in that in that setting. If yeah, I explained that right. As as Brian, who's usually on here, says, uh, I over explain things, so um, I apologize if I am over explaining something. I guess if I didn't bring my shovel, I wouldn't be able to get the gum. But do I want the gum right now? Because I've got a full inventory, and if I'm going to go over there. So these are the, uh... These are the, um... The praying mantises that they say that are supposed to be coming out within the game. Not sure if they're gonna come out with the new update. So this is they did they re they re-added this or added a new one. RPG mode. I think that's new. I think that is that wasn't there before. Eh. Nothing special about it. And I know when I was looking at the the new custom look on the on the um the new custom look or the new yeah I don't like this everything this this uh this mode right here module everything bl the colors don't don't go well I don't like it I can't see uh oof, that's that's too bright. That hurts my eyes. I think I like the ghosts. I forgot which one I had going before. Yeah, we'll go with sewage. Um, data screen places. I know there's a place up here on the on the picnic table. That I have not discovered yet, and I don't know what it is. Leaning shovel, cooler box, minotaur maze, end. The bottle, the field station, and I'm missing one other thing up here. Maybe it's the glasses that are down there? Not the glasses.
I don't know what I'm missing on the work on the on the picnic table. Well, praying mantis is in in the bug world. The praying mantis is a is a pretty big uh <laughs> that bee almost kicked my butt back there. What is that hanging off of? What is that? Oh, that's. I thought that I thought that dandelion tuft was uh was something hanging off of the table. The praying mantis as a boss. Back that ladybug assistant manager boss. It could be. I heard the wolf spider down there. Uh, I, I won't. I'll build the. I'll build the stairs another day. I'll build the stairs when I'm offline. Cause I definitely need a quicker way up. How's my food status looking? I'm gonna pick up some things so I can build a. Oh, not that. Build a uh, a grill up up higher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I jumped at the last I jumped at the last minute. I heard I heard the bee and I heard him do the attack as soon as I jumped. Yeah, that, that bee almost got me in the back end. I think that's enough to build a three three four. Yep. Alright. Almost thought I forgot my shield. So up here, Peter Piper is where the uh, the charcoal is at. And like I said, uh, when you come up here, just be careful because you got these two wolf spiders hanging out there. Although you do have a science piece and a gold tooth up there. Um, and in this zone, you're definitely going. to... These guys right here are what you need to watch out for. Those, uh, the ladybird larvas, the new larvas, they, they hit hard. So those are, those are one of the things as a newer player, um, you have to watch out for up here. But up here is where you get the charcoal now as well. Hang on one sec. Let me get rid of this spam. All right, and and as I, like I said before, you're gonna need a um, tier two, uh, at least a tier two hammer, to <laughs> get the get the charcoal, and you're going to you're definitely gonna need to have your um, your antlion armor when you come up here because once you go in there, not besides these stupid larvae that are here. You saw how quickly that sizzle effect had taken place. And that's that was like like instant sizzle. Yeah, so like I was saying, you need you're gonna need your antlion armor, and also when you come up here, go ahead and put on the uh, 
eat your uh fresh defense so with the fresh defense go ahead and eat the mints that you find and after you eat so many of them you will get the fresh defense uh the more you eat you could work your way up to level three you get sizzle protection burn resist and also with uh your um the spicy candies as well go ahead and eat those until you get phase two when you find them what am i put that back on But as you can see, it, it, it is like instant instant heat when you when you run into this zone. I I hate these guys. I really do. Until they get stuck on something. Yeah, I have, um, they're not that hard. I don't, I don't see anything too special about those ones. Again, I, I get up, uh, whenever I, whenever I fight them, I get up on, on a high level and just use my crossbow and shoot down on them. That's how I killed both of the, uh, that's how I killed the, uh, the, the, the black ox beetles is, uh, just with my crossbow and from a high level. Yeah, that was that was not the that was not the direction I wanted to take. That guy, that hurt right there. Uh. Yeah, all it is, yep, all it is, like you said, it's just a black ladybug with a red dot on it. Nothing special about nothing special that I have seen about them. And I'll tell you what, they have, they have definitely changed up the, I don't know if it's with this, the public test, but the, your hunger and thirst, it just, it's, it's crazy now. It's const, it's a constant battle of hunger and thirst. And I don't know if that's going to be something new or if that's something with the, the update that they're doing, but it's almost getting to the point of it's almost too much. It's kind of like uh, playing those more hardcore uh, survival games where you're, hung you're, you're more worried about your hunger and thirst all the time than everything else because it's constantly going down so fast. Yeah, the ladybirds are over here. Those ones right there. And like I said, what I do is break out my crossbow Like he's trying to throw those arrows right back at me. I was carrying I was carrying two canteens. But being that they don't they don't stack, it just takes up an extra slot. And if you're in an area that has a lot of grass, then you can pretty much find the water hanging off the grass.
And that's how I've killed the ladybirds and also the uh, the black ox beetles is just through that method right there. Now you gotta you, the one thing you do have to watch out for with the black ox beetles is they have changed it that they now throw rocks through the grass. Uh, I guess before that grass was blocking the rocks. Uh, let's see. Mash me this. I'll go ahead and take this one. The to... ow. Okay, maybe I won't take them on the normal way. <laughs> that's why. That's why it's always it's always easier just to get up on something and and shoot down at them. Yeah, I think I made a bad by shooting those poopas down. Or wh however you pronounce those. Yeah, af the, the, um, the aphid, the gnat, the, uh, the weevil. That's, that's my go-to food most of the time. Yeah, all the bugs up here, they, they, they just, they, they hit harder. They hit a lot harder. Pretty much, really, the, and, and just a, a different color code. Other than that, they all, nothing really different or special, in my, in my opinion, about them. Besides, they hit hard. Ah, no worries. I'm gonna head back over to that termite place I was at. now is every time I switch up what's on my uh my hot bar I always forget that I changed it up and I start using things that I don't mean to use Yeah, that green stink bug really he, he gives us the advanced gas sack and that's about it not really maybe maybe with like i was uh we were talking about this the other day with um with the 
actual public release they may give us a lot more stuff we're just we're just testing out the um the basics for them and once the actual public release comes out maybe they'll give us more content with with uh than what they're showing now we're just testing out the uh the foundation stuff Yeah, three of us are living in the U.S. And uh, I know they they tried out the multiplayer aspect of it. Um, both Ryan and Milton tried out the, the multiplayer aspect of the game. Oh, it was, I think, last month or something. And I think they had, like, lots of lag issues. Uh... Yeah, it was in December because I was I was in on the the conversation of all that, but I was actually I was actually getting ready to go on vacation when they did it. So I know when I came back, I read that there were serious lag issues going on. So hopefully, if they fix the multiplayer aspect of the game to uh, alleviate the lag, then uh, who knows that may that may come into. Uh, they may, that may come into something. How am I already full of stuff already? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I wanted to make a fireplace. Outside, up on that thing. Am I stuck? Uh... Uh oh. I fell. <laughs> I fell through the game. I am in a. I am in a spot that we're not supposed to be. Actually, underneath everything right now. That I can, yeah, let's see, that's a tunnel. Okay, so that's the termite tunnel. That's another termite tunnel over there. Is that new? Is that, that must be a new termite tunnel right there. So it comes up and around. There's, there's the, there's the Sparta pit. Uh, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big, um, that looks like it's a pretty big, uh, dungeon right there. What is that? Oh, that's just moss hanging on the, to be honest, I don't know how I can get out of here. I, I, I have changed that cap thing, the caps, multiple times. The, uh, I actually changed it so it's like allowed 20 caps, capital letters, but for some reason... Well, I was able to get out of there. 
yeah i will i am definitely going to have to uh i'm gonna go in uh, after after i'm done with this i've got to let the video process and then i will send them that clip right there of how i fell through because that that right there definitely needs to be fixed And to be honest, I actually forgot to... I forgot to hit my game record. If I had... If I was recording this, I could have just cut that clip up. Um, is it not let me? It's not let me build up here anymore. Not even giving me the. Not even giving me the option to put things up. How did I get to where I was at, Zoom? I fell. I came out of this hole right here. I fell behind a leaf down here. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to move self so I can see better. Uh, there's a, a leaf down here. I fell behind a leaf. I was not able to get out from behind that leaf. And uh and I fell through the map. So I was that's how I got into that area. Now I got all this stuff on me again. Alright, being that I can't build up here, I'm just going to drop all this stuff off that I don't need. You think it is a glitch? Oh, I threw all my rocks down. Oh, there they are. All right, let me uh, let me drop out and restart this to see if uh, if I'm able to. Oh, there we go. I'll... That's all I need to do is drop the stuff off and, and re-get it afterwards. Alright, so... <laughs> use the hacks. Use the hacks that I used to get in to get back out. <laughs> So concentrated on can I recreate hang on let me see if I can recreate this all right so what I did was I fell in here and right there that's how that's how you get in and out because I think I crawled out right here. Or you just jump into the tunnel.
Yeah, I will definitely... I will send them uh, that video right there that I just did. Actually, I should make it so they could see exactly where I'm jumping down from. Nah, they just they'll just they'll just get uh if, if once they see the once they see the uh that footage, they'll just go ahead and and, and fill in that hole if somebody else has, hasn't already done it. Okay. I'm having all kinds of troubles just getting over to that one spot. That tastes really good. Guess I should have used my uh All right, hang on one second. Let me um Let me redo this one more time because I didn't I didn't have the I didn't have the clip start it from the beginning. So right here down behind this leaf and there's that hole right there. Alright. So I, I I captured that clip. And I'll send that clip to them. So they could they could fix it. And I think I could get back into these tunnels from over here. See if I can jump through this tunnel. I thought there was a... Hopefully the stream is running okay, because right now I am getting a bunch of errors. Let me know on your end if it is or not. Not much I could do. Now it cleared up. Oh, really? Uh. <laughs> what the? Ah. I keep getting all kinds of video errors right now. The you you talking the uh the place I fell through? I I I I doubt it because the looks of it is definitely it is definitely below all the map stuff, so it's just a it's just the uh 
an area that they forgot to uh, fix. Cover up the hole. Oh, come on. <sighs> Maybe that's a sign that I need to call it quits for now. Because how many times can you miss that jump? Apparently it's a lot. I'm actually surprised that more have not been found with all the with the way the wood pile is cuz there is a lot of little little areas that um you can get into and 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 get stuck at. It looks like I mean that's the first area that I've actually gotten stuck at on the game since I've been playing. Maybe the, maybe this is like the, how many, sixth time I've tried to do this? Alright, so. If I don't make it this time, I quit. I was about ready to quit. Uh, let's see. 83 out of 80. Well, at least somebody's been counting. I'm already thirsty again, too. I can't believe that they're I they've got a very they've got a serious um alert radius for these guys. I can't believe I'm thirsty again already. Hydration thought I just thought I just drunk some water. I wasn't going to quit my stream if I kept missing that jump. Still wish, still wish we had a... A block. 
a block for that using your bow. I didn't... I know they're tearing my armor up. Uh, not so bad. Where's my axe at? Oh, I thought I lost it. Maybe one day I'll learn how to judge attacks. I I, I, I have so much trouble judging a ant attack. Hey, there's a big old spicy uh of course I don't have room for it. Get rid of that. It's very dark in here. Did bring this. Let me know if you guys are having any issue with the stream because I keep getting these bad. These bad uh, warnings a lot. They've almost tore my shield completely up. I'm trying to get why is it not hot swapping 
frickery with this. That, that's the, uh... Is there another way of getting down here? Because I thought the Termite King was, uh... You access the Termite King from... The upper porch area. Broke my shield. Grandma. Hopefully, I didn't drop my shield. Did I drop my shield? No, okay. I guess being that they like a do this. All right, so let me. Do a quick save here. Yeah, they are, they are tearing my armor up. Ah, this guy. So... Uh, will he come over? Uh, I need to drop some things. I wonder if he'll come over here. Yeah, he will. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Where's my torch? There it is. All right, so I need to... I guess dump more of these. Oh, can I defrag? Do I got room? No. Dump more of these green balls. Is that mosquito? Mosquito beaks, mosquito beaks. I haven't, I haven't ran into that infected uh, wolf spider as of yet. So I am not sure where he is at. Here is a... Yeah, I've, I've been, uh, geology, I've been looking for that, uh, the infected, uh, wolf spider over here. The burgle tape. And have not found him as of yet. I got a couple of good hits off of my crossbow on him. I got some crits. That definitely helped, because that, that couple of shots took his health way down quick. I got lucky with those. What is... 
Well fed. What is what is this? What's type of weapon does this hammer do? Wow, that that black that black ox hammer does more damage than the uh this level 0 black ox hammer does more damage than the the morning star. That's weird. Choppers. Did I even... I didn't even get any... Did, does the King Termite drop parts? Because I harvested... I harvested it. it harvested it it, it, it... it... I got Mosquito Beaks. But I am not getting any King Termite parts. Oh, what's this? Alright, there's a part right there. Is that it? Good call for saying I you know I was I was kinda wondering, but is that the only things that they gave are the two carapace? Carapace? Seems like it would have gave us more. I'm, I'm thinking, but I could be wrong. I got my armor. All right. I think my food status is up. Damn, the, the amount of water we're going through is just crazy. my hammer change that out for that what what yeah I got I got two two ter uh, king termite parts an acorn top doing down here let's go ahead and check out the sawdust eh it's not bad I suppose wonder if there's anything under here nope well, that's just weird <laughs> Why would it, why would an acorn top be what would a random acorn top be doing down here? Is there anything hidden? 
Now, it would have made sense to hide the, uh, the scab piece underneath that. It, it probably, Armando, it probably drops uh, random parts. Because there's the mosquito beak. Either that or a part fell through through the map because the one piece was like stuck in and out of there. Let me see if I can... Hang on. I'm going to see if I can move some parts to see if it fell underneath some parts. Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything else under here. I think it would be funny if you could get impaled on the, the splinters. Surprised they don't have like a skeleton impaled on those splinters. Oh, so you can get... Alright. So you can get uh, down there from up here. I was taking the hard way in the entire time. I got my, I got my hammer in my hand, the one that I needed. Okay, so I... Ah! Hey, God. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Can I make it? Can I make it? Woo! <laughs> uh, always look around before you go into your menu or your, uh, your inventory. <laughs> See, with Spider... All I wanted to do was get all those spicy pieces. Where is my... sword? Let's see, hang on, let me change my camera out for my shield since my shield is pointless. Wait, where'd my sword go? Jeez. They, and it's funny, those wolf spiders, they are quiet. They are extremely quiet. You don't expect them. And next thing you know, you hear the, you hear their hissing and you're dead. Because they bite you right in your ass. <laughs> That's what he gets for scaring me. Inventory full. Inventory full. Do we really need all these acid glands? I'll be getting rid of these acid glands and then... No, oh, they went somewhere. I guess... I guess I don't need those anymore. <laughs> um... Oh, I can get rid of this too. Let me... Let me go ahead and throw it down here in the garbage can. Oh, that didn't go. Hey, Last Samurai, so those patch notes were not on Discord. Uh, well, I didn't find those patch on Discord. I found those 
in the uh the obsidian forum under under the uh under the patch stuff let me hang on let me i'll drop i'll drop a link of where i found them give me one second here copy right here is where i been getting the latest patch notes that they drop And that that is that's directly that link right there is directly to the uh, the public test patches. So that has the entire list of them from the release of of this public test and with all the little hot fixes that they have been doing. No problem. Glad to be as uh, glad to be a help. I don't know where the infected wood spider is at. The infected, uh, Wolfie. I have not seen the infection. The only place I could have thought where he was at were where the infected larvae were at. But now that I, I and I went over there and looked uh, at the beginning of the stream and I have not seen him over there. So I don't know where, where he is located. What arrows am I using? He's supposed to drop three or four. I am guessing, um, geology where I killed him at. I am guessing that they probably fell in through the map because he was in the hallway where I killed him. Probably not where they technically expected somebody to kill him, I guess. I don't know. Either that or it's because I had all those other parts dropped in there. I can go back in there and look, though. Or I could always go back and do it again. But thanks for checking up on that. This area seems like it's there there seems like there's something that should be in here. Maybe something for the future. <laughs> Wasn't there another hole up here somewhere? I thought I saw another hole. There it is right there. Uh, see if I can make it in here, dropping my, I do like the, uh, I don't, I don't know if that is, I, I still think it's a glitch with the, the double shot of the crossbow, but I do like it. We need, we need a, uh, we need a repeating crossbow, one that has like a magazine in it. Because I'm all about taking these things out the easier way. I've always been a uh, um, 
in a lot of games that I play, I've always been a support player, a uh, playing first person shooters. I'm always the medic, medic or um, engineer. I, I never have been one of those that likes to get right up into the the mix of the action. Uh, alright, so I've, I've already been here. I just never took it this way around. I go back and I'll look to see if I can find some more. Where is my torch again? Did I drop my torch? Where's my torch? I lost my torch. Where did I lose my torch? Well, that sucks. Hard to look around when you lose your torch. So there's all these bug parts. You would think... With parts like this, why don't... Why doesn't these parts have little... Where'd they go? Why don't these parts have little icons over them? And why doesn't the, uh... The uh, Termite King parts have little icons over them. You got those, but you don't see them here. And I def I know I didn't see them when I was picking up the, uh, the King Termite parts. No, I don't see them. That's all right. I can always get them later. Because that leads up to the porch. This one leads out to the side hole. These nails are in weird places. Alright, so let's see. I guess I should have went up on top of the, the picnic table to get back over here. But I did not. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find where the infected uh, wolf spider is at, because I have not found him unless he's in the unless he's down in the trenches. That's the only place I could think of because I went underneath the porch, did not see him underneath the porch. But again, the infected larva were under that far section of the Porsche, which was making me believe that that's where the uh, infected wolf spider should have been. But I did not see the infection over there. What is down there? Is that a, is that a gold tooth down there? It is. Oh, how did I not land on the net? The net. The, uh, that thing. Not a net.
right, what is my what statuses am I using right now? I don't eh, I don't think I need this one right there. I'm gonna fight with my hammer. I should do the smasher. Get rid of that. That on. And put that one. I do know about that that you're talking about. Um, I have not been over there as of yet. I can actually head over there. I don't know if, if they have opened that up. Although I don't have anything to explode. But if they if they have the uh, the thing on the rock that we can blow up, that is a good sign. But then then I heard that that might be where the um, the uh, praying mantis parts were found. Get that little guy. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> this... They're, um... There's nothing in here. It's just a swimming pool. It's a swimming pool that you can't get out of. There you go. Fork. I should have went back and got my arrow. Oh, we know the little bug went this way. He's probably... He's gone. That's the cave I just came out of. Eh, can't get it. They got all kinds of, uh, got a lot of stuff going on down here. Oh, that guy. Oh, and then one of these guys. To be honest, I don't like them. Those little things are just full of acid glands. <laughs> they put... <laughs> well, they do. That's where all the little spiderlings come from. I 
Now I'm gonna... Lots and lots of uh, crevices and canyons over here. This is one tore up backyard. Jeez. I'm going to see the need to build a lot of bridges. And I'm going to need water. down here broken pot some water I need hydration is the key to performance and back over to the wall to drop down to the upper lower section is this right here This looks like a future wolf spider hangout right here. This is this is what they usually hang out under is those little uh leaf caves. All right, so this is the upper lower section. Something's crawling through the grass right there. I think that's a uh, roly-poly that's down there. So there's the research tent, and that rock is right underneath that research tent, so I'll head right over there. That's all right, Brian. Nope, that rock is still, still plugging the hole. Not blown up yet. Not able to blow up yet. The wolf spider, not in there. Be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen the um, the infection area over here, so. I don't know where it would be at. I don't see...
Did they move? Nope, Skeletor is still there. I went, I went underneath the, I went underneath all the areas of the shed deck, uh, Brian, and, and I did not, I didn't see him under there when I was uh, over there at the beginning of the, um, beginning of the stream, I went up underneath the, the deck. The flat rock used to get... The, you, you, uh, you talking the one that's right here? The one that used to go from the lower yard to the upper yard? There is, there is a wolf spider underneath that flat rock down there now. But that's just a normal wolf spider. He's in, uh, that, that branch right there. There's a cave and that's where that, that wolf spider hangs out at. Come here, you little piece of crap. Those little beetles, <laughs> those guys are, those guys are fast. Oh, what's this right here? Here's an infection zone. All right, hang on. Uh, I don't think I have. This is the only... This is the only infection area I have ran into so far. Where am I at right here? It's... So this is the... The, uh, the upper... The lower upper yard. There's the little uh, field station. I've been up under here all the way around. And I have not... I even went where the... Uh, the, green, the green thing is at. The green... Uh, whatever you want to call them. Stupid thing just scared me. Alright, I'm gonna go sleep real quick. This way it's not dark out. And then I will be right back as well. I'm ready to hit the sack. All right, I have returned, and do I have anything to eat? Because I know I'm going to need food. Um, 
I need a storage shed too. Or a storage shed. I need a uh really a um storage container. Let me see if I can find some food real quick. Why are the weevils in the aphids never around when you need them? Oh, mushrooms will do. They just take longer. I've had worse, I guess. <laughs> I did go on a pee break. That is a true story right there. All right, head back to where we were at to see if... Hey, Lilybug, how you doing? Yeah, there's, there's, there's the infection, but there's no... <laughs> well, yeah, I have been sitting here for almost three hours and have been drinking tea and water. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that. That would be kind of uh, awkward if there's that beetle again. There's an arrow. Let me see if I could do this. Oh, he went into the very, the very crusty zone. So I'm not. I'm, Did I, did I research my fungal growth? Thought I did. Oh wait. I I guess I could have done the. Uh, I guess I could have done the scan. I you know, being that the scan is so new. Well, it was, it was a, it was a try to get that little guy. Oh, there he is. Sneak attack. See that? <laughs> so I have been, if, if I don't find him up here, I will, uh, I will go back down and uh, scan, scan where those parts are at, because... I guess that's what that scanner comes in handy for. Nothing up here. You you <laughs> you farmed thirty four of those little guys. Wow. How long did that take you? And good morning in New Zealand. So it is Friday. Friday over there. Friday in New Zealand. I have a couple of friends that I met in Croatia that live in New Zealand. is the key to performance. Thirty-five shells. That is okay. So all this fungus. This is funny. So I came over here earlier. Same area. All these fungal growths were not over here earlier. Now that I came back, 
this place is loaded with because i was over here fighting these these little guys right there and as i was here i'm like these are in a weird location because there is no fungal growth over here but now the fungal growth is here and there are spider sacks but where is the infected spider at I want armor to go like this. I want armor and a weapon that glows. I want a glowy. I want to be I want to be very standout-ish. <laughs> Those little aphids, they always I always miss them. Oh, the web sacks don't, but all of this, this is the end of, this is, so far, again, this, this whole area was not like this when I first started my stream. And then when I came back. Gotta watch this guy, he'll jump, he jumps over to this rock. So if I wonder how they're gonna ouch, I wonder how they're going to um work that for because I mean it it's not it's not as of right now it's not necessary to turn off the uh the haze but I wonder how that is going to affect game progress in the future All right, so let's see. He's not here, but again, this wasn't here the last time I was here. Let me continue on around the side. So Brian said you could confirm that there is a there is a infected wolf spider there hey what's going on prod Pr Prix Prixta Pr sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name hope you're doing well alright so Brian said that there is a wolf spider here Would it be funny if he popped out of one of those web sacks? Oh, where'd they come from? They, they jumped out of nowhere. I I believe you. I believe that there is... This is where the, the zone is at. Maybe he just hasn't spawned in as of yet. Because maybe I'm just... Uh, maybe this is too new for the infection over here as of right now. I'm not saying you're wrong, Brian. I'm just saying that. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead and put it on Discord so I could I could see it. 
Because I'm positive that's this is where he's going to be at. But... What I'm saying is... Tired of that shit blowing up on me. Is at the beginning of the stream when I was over here, it was just the... Uh, where's my axe at? There it is. It was just the two infected larva and nothing else was sitting over here. That's what I'm saying. If there is going to be a new lab, um, there, there has been no word on if there is going to be one or not, but with all that they're doing right now, I'm, I'm thinking that there's going to be, I think they're holding back on what they're showing us right now, uh, for this update, to be honest. I'm, I'm thinking that we're testing out uh, a lot of the stuff for them, and I, I, and and I could be completely wrong. I could be this could be it for the update, but being that they're they're slowly adding more and more things in, which each of these uh these um public test updates, I'm I'm thinking that there's got to be something more that they're holding they're holding back for the public test. This way. Us who are streaming the public test aren't showing everything that's going to be out there. But then again, I could be wrong. So. <laughs> but for this, for the way they have been releasing the, uh, the content on this one, it just, it just, it just has me thinking that there's got to be more to it. That tastes really good. Um... I forgot what I was going to do. I I can run down to the research station and see if there's any more uh, infected zones. But Brian Brian has confirmed that that is where the, the spider is supposed to be at. So. That bee is stuck in the spokes of the tire. And supposedly... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch the stream. Uh, Ryan was streaming about, um, Black Widows making an appearance in the game. I, I saw mention of that, I think, on the, the, uh, Grounded Discord, I think I saw it. And I think Brian was supposed, or Ryan was supposed to be streaming that location, but I did not, I didn't catch it, I was... Because he started pretty much the same time I started streaming. But it looked like he was going into a wood pile, and that's the. I just been through all through that wood pile, and I didn't see any. Uh, unless there's another wood pile out here somewhere. But I'm wondering if they're going to. Um, throw some of this stuff into the the public release right here all this all this area because i know the devs were that the dev was talking uh during the stream right as this one was released that they are they are working on a bunch of finishing up the backyard and i know before this used to all be grass i think in here i think but then again i could be wrong Is he still streaming? Do you know if uh, if he's playing around in the Black Widow section or? Green thumb. Uh, that's what I. That's what I thought, Lilybug. I thought, I because I was I was exploring back here a while back, and I thought this whole area was grass, and they cleared it out. And uh, green thumb, uh, I think a lot of us are thinking the same the same thing about we've been waiting three months and this is what they they gave us. So I mean, it could have been a lot more work dealing with the wood pile and all that, but it just doesn't seem like th nearly the amount of stuff that they gave us for the hot and hazy update.
so the um are you saying that the uh the black widow stuff was clickbait <laughs> if that's the case that's the way to piss people off <laughs> That would that would make sense, uh, Lily Bug, that uh having having the the mantis show up in a garden area and maybe up here will be a garden. Cause this area this area it does not look big on the map. Um But when you start running this area back here, this area is actually a lot bigger than what you think it is by looking at it. I have not seen those. I know I was on uh, watching uh, Ryan's stream yesterday and Melt was in there and sounded like there were a couple people kind of getting mad. Like they're like, oh, they want us to, 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 to pay money to see what something is. I'm like, what what's going on? There's a candy up there, but is that candy really worth trying to go through all those ants for? I wish I could, I, I wish the focus wasn't so bad. The, the distance focus. Is there anything else? I could run over and climb up that hammer real quick. That bird crap, that is bird crap on the chair. So I'm, I'm figuring the crow is going to be sitting there soon. There's gum on the handlebars. I just there's there's raw signs down here somewhere. Where's it at? Is it in that leaf? I hear it. It sounds like it's right above me. Is it? Yeah. All right, listen. You you can hear the raw science. It's above me. It's inside this chair. I think it's right. I think it's right where I'm at. You, you can see the you can see the purple glow when I try to jump into it. Right there. It's right above me, inside the chair. I wonder if that's misplaced or is there a hole in this chair? Oh, wait, Ant. I gotta get out. I can't do that view. Or is it back? Uh. Yep. You're right. Go to photo mode. There's a hole in that chair. Oh! I just saw it. Right. Um... Let me get back down to here. I think there's a way to get back there from the baseball bat, maybe.
There it is. Uh, how do we get back there? That's the question. Can we make the jump from the baseball bat, maybe? I'm thinking it's from the baseball bat and parachute down. We'll go ahead and grab that. I think I turned off backyard blur. Let me look. Motion blur. I can't. I definitely have to. That was the first thing when I first started playing the game. That is the first thing. I had to. Uh, I had to turn off was motion blur because. Uh, if I kept that on, I wouldn't have been able to play. I would have thrown up. Player distance. Where is the um I'll be I'll be in the same category as your husband. I'll probably keep missing the jump and missing the uh <laughs> the dandelion tough floating down. I thought I saw, yeah, geology. I could have swore there was a distance blur. Let me look again. Maybe I missed it. Player distance. This, that's just for naval player distance is displayed. No, that just shows if you're playing multiplayer. Window mode, resolution, quality. I just, I have my settings down low just for streaming purposes as well. Usually, most games I play up on, on max that I can, but for, uh, for, uh, gaming purposes, I've turned a lot of them down. Not for gaming, for, um, you know what I'm saying? Streaming. That, that thing. That thing that I'm doing right here, this. Construction. Why is it jumping like that? There probably is. I'll probably go in there and mess it up and never be able to play the game again, so... All right, so get up on the baseball bat. And I want to jump. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I, okay, I, I'm going to say I can make that, but until I do it, I won't say it because. Uh... Just like that. There it is. Is that radio new? I don't think I've seen that radio before. No, it's not too bad. And there's there's been times where 
I, I'm looking at something and the distance will come back into focus, but... I guess I should have climbed up on the... can't see the... Um... There's candy corn up there. There's also gum on the handlebar right there. But to be honest, is that chair higher than that? So you could, I don't think, how can you make that? Not like that. There's got to be a way to get You can't jump from the chair, that chair to the table. Uh, using the, uh, do you float over or do you, can you just make the jump? Alright. <laughs> Hopefully my dandelion tuft doesn't uh, run out on me while I'm doing that. Isn't the bat on the wrong side of the chair? <laughs> Top of the hammer. I thought I heard a I thought I heard a bug down in that area chasing me in the game, but it was uh it was my dog licking the floor. <laughs> That's right, Lily Bug. I knew what you were I knew what you were uh you were talking about. That's that's always weird too. Whenever you this is what the third time I've come across this area and it just now said I unlocked it. All right, so I got to Alright, so as soon as I jump, I float across. Just like that. Candy corn, scab. There's the research. Bunch of bunch of toenails. Bunch of toenails in the in the ashtray. Can we harvest toenails? We could use toenails for something. <laughs> Tell them that's why I do this professionally. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> a 
They slowed down the... Oh, maybe they didn't. Uh, photo settings. Time of day. Get rid of the fog. Is that an Omnip ashtray? It is. With a bunch of toenails in it. I'm gonna get a good angle here. Good picture angle. Yes, that's not too bad. Wanna maybe I should get on the other side of the ashtray so I can get the omnet symbol symbol in it. In the toenails. Because you know. Who doesn't like toenails? With my glowy sword. The lightsaber. That's what it is. Free cam. Pretty much once you once you're done with uh, doing a couple things up here, you really until they add something new, you really don't need to come up here. There we go. Uh Yeah, that'll make a good I think that'll make a good screenshot. Thumbnail. Thumb <laughs> thumbnail of the toenails. There we go. Uh, wait, none of my... Alright, none of my settings are getting out of the screenshot mode. I'm stuck in screenshot mode. There we go. Also, if I hit the right keys. Hey, what's going on, Ammo? I don't think I have enough room to carry these. These are some, uh... I don't have any room to carry candy anyways. Anything behind this? Hey, I get a... Hey, I get a screenshot with that. Look up in the air, photo, unlock, swing around. Problem is, is with a... Get rid of the fog. Get rid of that. I don't have any. Let me jump down and get me some. Uh... It's hard to judge distance in the night. <laughs> and with the glow of the sword, I could not. I could not see where I was jumping. I almost hit the ground on that last one. Um, I need, I need either a bug or, no, I can't get, I need mushrooms. Wasn't there mushrooms up here where the, uh, the spider was at? Where am I at on the map? Here an aphid. Can't eat this. 
Can you eat these? No. I hear something crawling around. I don't see it as of yet. I need to go back to my little base, get some food before I, uh, before I die. Because, uh, I'm getting ready to die. Where's my auto run? Almost gonna die. This my the base is right down here. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. I didn't have food up here. I thought I had food up here. Do they have, they have granola bars in here? Figures, the one base that doesn't have granola bars that are just laying around. Okay, I hear a weevil though, so I need to drop. What am I dropping? There he is. That's pretty much what they're good for is uh is for food. I am sleepy. No joke. Hydration is the key to performance. Anything else? I wish there was another way to get up up there without going through the uh the hot zone. Unless anybody know of another way to get up there without going through the hot zone? Oh, yeah, uh, geology, you can, um, once you make the, the grinders, you could grind up both mushrooms and, um, plant fibers and give them to the weevils and the aphids and they become a pet. Not that they really do a whole lot, except for usually get in your way when you die. I mean, when you fight and you usually end up killing them. I like shooting... <laughs> to be honest, I like shooting aphids. And I can see how they would be good practice for shooting the, the scarabs. The, uh, I hear another weevil. The, the rock that, uh, we're, you're talking about is on the lower wall. See, I'm on the, I'm currently on the lower upper section. But the rock that you're talking about, I think I'm standing right there in front of it. This one right here, green thumb. This was the, uh, there was that rock that was sitting right here. I blew up earlier to, uh. Open up this little area. You don't have to blow that rock up to get up here, though. You could 
you could still parkour your way up with that rock that's still there. But I wish they had something like this. I wish they had something like that over here somewhere to get up onto the upper section instead of running through the fire zone. Which I understand why they did it that way, but I'm going to have to make some stairs to get up there. Probably right, right where those, uh, the infected growth is at. Oh, I missed him. He he paused. Did he get away from me? Ah, you got away. <laughs> An upper yard ascent? Uh... So there's a there's a second area is what you're saying or is it the one that i was just showing you because that one that i was just at that there was a rock there that you blow up and it uh it lets you access this this is the upper this is the upper lower section but there's also the upper upper section and i have not found like an easy way of getting up without going through the um the fight the the, uh, the grill area. Hey, what's that guy doing down there? Is he fighting the... Uh, are they fighting? Hey, what's going on, Sonny? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Oh, so just uh, just let them run and uh, pretty much let them calm down and then go after them. Makes sense. That tastes really good, good. Good, good tip there. Thanks, thanks for that tip. Yeah, I I've, I've I've noticed that. Cuz I know the uh the devs were teasing about um you know the the scarabs and they'll run away and you got to find a figure out a way to uh to catch them. So running is not the key way of doing it. Good note, good note. Thank you for that tip. I wonder if you can put a bounce. I probably can't, but. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think you could. But I was figuring it would be nice to be able to get up there through here. They, they do move out awful quickly. I can definitely see where the aphid slippers and the, um, the marksman hat helps to get them. Where? Where are the wolf spiders at? Why are they not here? Maybe they went and got infected.
Should we go back up to the infection zone to see if the uh, if there's an infected wolf spider up there right now? Oh, this is a bad time. I gotta sneeze. This is not a good time to need to. <coughs> oh. Ah. I'm gonna mute my mic. I apologize for that. It was, it was a, uh, it was too much going on at the one time, and I wanted to mute my mic, but I was in the wrong zone. I've I've one shot at them without having the uh the fully upgraded stuff, but I think it was it was the um the Kuda that guy. The Kuda Why can't I jump That's what I get for talking and not paying attention. <laughs> well that sucked. If, uh, if the wolf spider is not there, um, when I get there this time, I'll go ahead and try the fixed creature location to see if it, if it does appear. That's how I, that's how I've taken him out, Sonny, is with that uh that lucky one crit shot. What the heck? Why um why am I struggling to jump right now? Am I still sizzling? Well, that's I, I I I've been saying that Brian, but I don't want to spend the stream just sitting there building a. Oh wow! I I don't know why. I've never struggled to jump over here before. Not like that. Maybe I got sweaty hands. I like trying to practice with the weevils. I try to I try to hit them when they jump up in their air, in the air right be, uh, when they do their little jump. I try to hit them when they're up in the air. Oh, that took me about a half hour to do that. <laughs> that was a that was a sorry 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 jump right there. Ow. Oh. I should have gone back to the main base to dump some of this stuff off.
Lullybug, where where have you found the most of the uh, the scarabs to be at when you've been hunting them for so long? Do they have a is there a specific area that they they spawn at more than others, or is it just totally random up here? I don't have any water. That that's uh uh that's what I've been doing, Brian, on uh actually another another save that I've been working on. I st I built a fort right right above where the old rock used to lean up at. Uh where now where it's flat. I built a uh, just a small base right there. I might make it actually bigger after thinking about how much stuff is going on in this area. Kind of have a second second main base. So, in fact, that wolf spider is not here. So, what I'm going to do is fix bug locations to see if he shows up. There he is, right there. I don't like fighting this guy. I have not been very good at at trying to take him down. Um Thought I had liquid rage. I got that. Okay. My equipment is almost toast. Sword. All right. Are the stink bugs gone? All right. They are gone. Wonder if I could just, uh, wonder, wonder how far this guy actually goes to. Wonder if I could get him from just shooting my arrows at him. Oh, there he is. I wonder if he can get me up here. Or just run away. Where'd he go? Just running away. He runs away quick. Ah! His stupid little bombs. I was going to be able to make it up here. Ow! 
Wow, that hurt. That went through the that went through everything. How 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 is How is that killing me? That is that explosion was underneath me in the ground. And I broke all my stuff. My crossbow broke. Which means I won't be able to carry it back with me. Oh, all my gear is broke. Well, at least they gave me seven arrows to... Try to fight with. I think that's something they... I think that's something they need to kind of work on because that doesn't make sense how an explosion can go through the ground like that. Duck. But with that, we do know that the, uh, the Infecto Spider is in that location now. And just because you're standing on top of something doesn't mean you're not going to get killed by an explosion. <laughs> I, I would have, I would have got it if the explosion happened, like, within my... <sighs> ...visual sight, but it did not. These mosquitoes do not give up on you either. That is one determined mosquito right there. Is he going to follow me all the way back? Ow! He is going to follow me. Where's my house at? Oh, now he gave up. Hey, what's going on, Mentos? How you go? How you doing? He, he, he jumped in just as I was gonna get ready to uh, call it quits on the stream. Been doing it for four hours. I think that's the longest stream I have ever done. Is a four-hour stream. Actually, I know that's the longest stream I've ever done. If I can fix my gear. I don't think I have a lot of... Oh, okay. Alright, everyone. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream for today. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. And uh, exploring the new area up there, we did we did finally find the the um, infected wolf spider. Got some good tips on the we uh, not the weevils on the the scarabs, and we also took out the termite king today. So I think it's been a pretty successful uh, successful stream. Uh, in case you in case you missed it, these right here, you see the check marks above these. These are some of the new quality of life additions that they have added. So whenever uh, a thing that is inside either the grinder, the oven, or the spinning wheel has is complete, is finished, it will give you that green check mark to let you know that whatever is in there is done cooking or processing or whatever it's doing. And you could just use the, uh, the take all key to take it all out of the oven or the grinder or the spinning wheel. So that is a that is a, a cool new feature that they have added. And you could also take all from when you're actually in there, just go down here and take all at one time. So just a, just a little quick thing that I'm showing before I'm leaving the stream once again. <laughs> yeah, Brian, Brian missed uh, missed a lot as well. Oh yeah, and uh and uh Armando has mentioned the glitch that I have found where I'm falling through the map underneath the wood pile. 
So yeah, I, I took a, uh, a recording of that and I will be sending that to the development team to have them fix that little uh, spot that you could get in and out of from underneath the ground. But again, everybody have a great one and uh, really appreciate everyone hanging out and chilling with me. Uh, good chatting with all of you. And uh, I will be doing this again Saturday. So Saturday, I think at noon, which is 2 o'clock, 2 p.m., 2 p.m. Eastern. So if you are got nothing better to do, then swing on by, say hi. That's all you do. That'd be great. But uh, as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring the backyard and have a good rest of your week. I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am out. Maybe. Now I am out. <laughs> all right, you have a good one.